Good morning. My name is Karen Moreland. I'm the Administrative Director for Supply Chain Operations at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'm here to talk with you about PAR optimization and the timing of when to revise, review, and redesign your PAR. As materials managers, we're often called upon to manage PARs in the nursing areas, in the ORs, or maybe in the procedural areas. Oftentimes we hear that we've run out of supplies or we never have what we need and our first response most likely is to increase the PAR or add more to the PAR because our natural instinct is that more is better. Today let's talk about optimizing the PAR instead of going to that natural instinct of only adding. First of all, when we talk about optimizing the PAR, we want to establish the current state, which means creating a report that tells us what's on our current PAR, what it, it should be, and if we're already overstocking at the current PAR level. Also, document and establish how many items are on the current PAR, what the order time is for the current PAR, the delivery time, and how much time staff are spending ordering supplies, stocking supplies, and routinely throughout the day delivering supplies on demand. All of this will establish the current state and establish a baseline, which then we can compare after we have revised the PAR. I like to start also with create an activity log for the PAR, which means what's happening in that supply location throughout the day. How much time are the material staff spending in that room? How much time are the nursing staff spending in that room? And at what time are they routinely taking items from the PAR? And what are they doing with those supplies? After this has been established, it's time to look at usage. And usage means any type of supply that is coming into that room, either by a purchase order, by an internal rec, to an internal storage location, or by on-demand delivery, or maybe borrowing from another location. While reviewing the usage for this PAR, you may also discover that you have items that are very low usage. In determining if you should keep this item or not, it's very important to work with the nurse managers or the nurses on that unit to determine if this is a critical item that needs to stay on the PAR or if it can be removed and delivered upon demand. After we've established this current state and documented, then we need to pick a go live date, need to create a map of the changes that we'll make, establish the map, communicate and communicate and communicate that these changes will be happening, and make the changes and continue to monitor we need to monitor if people are still calling down for supplies or if the unit is able to, by the changes made to the PAR, able to make it throughout the course of the day without calling much for supplies. Now, if you have a small storage location on your nursing unit, you may require a midday what I call a midday top off, where your staff may come into the room and fill PARs just enough to make it to the nightly delivery or whenever your delivery time has been established. So throughout the course of this PAR optimization, you may find that PAR optimization does not always equate to reducing a PAR. It may increase your PAR value may increase the number of items you have on your PAR, but what this will do is decrease the amount of times that your staff, the materials staff, are going to that supply closet and refilling. will also optimize or maximize the value of your purchase order or the value of your requisition by increasing the dollar amount per line and increasing the lines on the PO. When I say the word increase, that doesn't always equate to additional cost. You're maximizing the use of the purchase order. Cost also equates to the time that your employees are spending in that supply location. 
the time that the nursing staff are spending looking around for supplies. The outcomes of a good PAR optimization program is that it's eliminating the need to stockpile. It's also allowing not only the materials team, but the nursing team to walk into a supply room and be able to look, it's look and find the items that they need. It's well organized and it's good for both parties involved. Thank you for your time today. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.